Hey there. Ever wondered how to make your encryption bad? Sure, wait, bad? Why bad? Well, here's step one. Monoalphabetic substitution. What is that word? Know the Caesar cipher? Monoalphabetic substitution is the simplest form of encryption where you assign each letter to a consistent value and encrypt accordingly. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, you can brute force it with ease. It's perfect. What the hell do you mean perfect? Now, step two. Weak keys. What? Keys are used by ciphers to scramble data, and some can reduce even a complex cipher into trivial work. Like what? The German variant Beaufort cipher encrypts by taking the difference of a letter and a letter in the key. In this example, there is no space between the plaintext letter and the letter in the key, so let's put down zero here. The same applies here. For the third letter, we cycle back to the first letter of the key. There is a difference of two between A and C. Now we turn these numbers into letters using the alphabet. Whilst normally this cipher would be more challenging to solve than a Caesar cipher, if we make the key all the same letter, it functions like a Caesar cipher. What's more, if all the letters are A, the text is completely unchanged. Perfect, huh? What's the point of encrypting then? Step 3. Keep your words separate. Huh? Some people make the mistake of messing with the format of the text. It makes it more difficult to decipher if you remove spaces or format the text into digraphs. Why are we trying to encrypt badly again? Step 4. Encrypt as much data as possible. Encrypting more data gives more clues. Look at these examples. In this top one, we don't even have a starting point. In this bottom one, we already have our first clue, as this lonely letter is likely to mean I or A. You do realise you could be teaching the basics of good encryption instead, right? Step 5. Keep using symmetric encryption. What on earth is that? In symmetric encryption, the same key encrypts and decrypts. Whereas in asymmetric encryption, two different keys are at play. That means in asymmetric encryption, you can't reverse engineer the encryption method to decrypt anything. Wait, so this step was just telling me to not do something I didn't even know about? Yes. Got a problem? Well... Step 6. Dox yourself. What? What do you mean? Anyways... Dox yourself. If you do, people can easily find you and threaten you in person to reveal your secrets. That's six steps. Be sure to hit like and OW! Okay, that should stop the insanity. Don't dox yourself. And why would you want to encrypt badly? Ah!